Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> it's Saturday night, and welcome to Dustin and Michelle. Yes, we are so excited that you're here tonight once again because we have a really fun show for you. Yeah, we're hoping that you guys had a great week. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we have some fun stuff to talk about that I think all of, pretty much all of us sell at some point as thrifters and resellers, wouldn't you say? I would say. I mean, um, we sell at least one piece of this uh, sort of uh, <laughs> genre or uh, category every single day um, in different formats, whether it's music or whether it is uh, movies or whatever, but it's media. Physical media, to physical. be more exact. Yeah, physical media. Right. You know, in this day of streaming, uh, this age of streaming, where the, we got Netflix, we have Prime Video, there's Hulu, Hulu, Hulu <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Um, all of these different platforms where you go to watch your favorite TV shows or movies. But sometimes, right, you have, you just, you got to see this movie that you just absolutely love and it's not on. I'll, I'll like the Big them. Lebowski. I love that movie. Yeah. Like that's a fun one to watch once in a while. Yeah, like the Big Lebowski. You know, <laughs> um, there's just some of those that you know you need to watch once in a while, and they're not going to be on any of those platforms that you're paying for. So that's where the physical media collection comes in handy, and myself included. Uh, Michelle, you've seen my DVD collection. Uh, at one point, we did a movie uh, or a YouTube video on selling it all. Uh, got it up online. A lot of it is sold. Um, very organized. You're very organized. Oh, thank you. Out there, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So, you know, um, I know that there's a market out there for uh, physical media. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, when you see those doors of your local thrift store open and that line goes running in, there's two places they usually go. Shoes, media. <laughs> those are the two I notice the most. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely go there. Um, so check out, uh, now this right here we're showing you is our um, eBay store. And this is in the past year, and I searched by Blu-ray. So in the past year, uh, we've sold 121 Blu-rays. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> and um, a lot of different price points here from um, $8 to $12. And we're going to scroll down here because there's a couple of them that are really good. Um, mm. um, you know, some of them are some seven, eight, nine dollars, fifteen dollars for a Back to the Future trilogy, twenty six dollars for Stranger Things. One I was reading about today, funny enough, and uh, it came in here. And Dustin says we had that one. Yeah, we did. We had it. Um, it's not the Stargate right here that sold for twenty two bucks, but <laughs> um, right here, check this out, guys. The Garbage Pail Kids. This is the one that you're talking about. Went yeah. for sixty nine dollars, guys, on Blu-ray. Yeah, it did. And the one that I found, the comparison went for seventy one. So that's literally the going rate. That is the going that's rate. Nuts for that movie. So um, it just goes to show right there, um, you know that um, physical media people need it like that movie garbage Pail kids such a great movie oh my gosh i remember uh my dad uh would take the blank vhs tapes and record these movies on showtime like three per tape and everything <laughs> uh oh my gosh just the media I've, I've been a media buff my entire life yeah you never left the house without like setting up all the recorders to <laughs> yeah, get everything yeah. recorded had to record the 10 o'clock news because we were going to be on it that night or something you know all that <laughs> Just fun stuff like that. So that physical media stuff, people love it. Here's a few examples. Um, when we when we think of music, I think the first thing that ever uh, really became a physical media that people could actually listen to over and over again, you know, unless you were playing it yourself or at the concert hall, uh, was vinyl record. You know, this was uh, how you listen to music um, over and over again. You know, for the first thing, here's a Beatles record or a Paul McCartney record that we have online right now. Um, as an example, and um, the um, collectors for these are very, very, very finicky about the condition, uh, whether it's the sleeve, especially um, you want to check out for um, any scratches and clean off any dust when you're taking pictures and stuff because um, very, 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 very finicky. I have a funny story about this. Um, my sister Wendy and I used to um, listen to these mm -hmm. little records and um, what's that one song about the tweedly deedly dee 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 tweedly dee 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 dee? He rocks in the treetops all day long. Oh, yeah. Rocking in the bop. So you remember that one? Uh, rock, rock and Robin. <laughs> yes, that rock was Robin. it. Tweed, Wendy and tweed, I used tweed. to tweedly dee. We used <laughs> to dance in the garage on the cement floor and listen to these 
when we were younger. And that's the kind of magic that music has in your life. Right. And it, and it's not the same as just hearing this on the radio, right? You had to choose this. You're like, oh my gosh, we got to listen to this song, you know? And yeah. And you looked at the cover and it was all about mm -hmm. the art, right? Yes, exactly. And that, that was the same thing. Uh, when it came to um, a little bit later then, um, after uh, records came cassette tapes. Uh, now this made them, uh, made music a little bit more portable. Um, you started getting these in like cars and everything. Mm -hmm. Here's a cassette <laughs> by uh, Soul Asylum, uh, Clam Dip and Other Delights. It's sort of like a plan words of the uh, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, uh, very <laughs> uh, uh, risque uh, cover. Um, anyway, this is a, uh, uh, the cassette tape, you know, this is one of my favorite formats to listen to still. I think it sounds fantastic when you have played oh. through a uh, good system. It has really good bass. And really good bass. if you haven't had a chance to see the video, was it the short about how to fix the tapes? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. We, I do have a um, short online about how to fix your uh, felt pads on the um, on your tapes if those oh. uh, fall um, fall off. Uh, Force finds on, on finds online. Hey guys, Hi. glad How to see you. Ya. So happy you're here uh, once again. I'm trying to look more into books, but mainly the high end expensive ones. Um, I totally know what you mean there because I don't do a whole lot of books. I know that can be great because there's just millions and millions of titles of books, and um, you can very easily send them into Amazon if you're into Amazon like that too. Yeah. Um, the mainly the books that I have dealt with though, I would say are um, I took. Quite a few days to look into how to sell a Harry Potter book. Now, this one right here is a first edition, first print, and you can tell that by um, some of the information on the um, in, inside book cover. Um, some of them have misprints and stuff. So it's a beautiful um, book, and it this is raised right here. I like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is not a book uh, a book fair edition. You can tell there's a couple of things. You know, it, it tells you know if you see the uh, price on the label inside here. It tells you that it's not. There's just a lot of things to look for when it comes to these Harry Potter books. So uh, do your research. Some of them are really great, you know, and I've sold uh, a few of them. No and problem. it's so fun to scan them. And Stand there and <laughs> Yep, scan. Beep, beep, beep. Scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it. And uh, it's, yeah, it is a lot of fun. And of course, uh, going back to music though, um, after cassettes, of course, we got CDs. Hey! And that made- I, That I, changed I, everything. I mean, not having to sit there and press fast forward and guess where the next song you want to listen to that song <laughs> just press number eight and there you were and it sounded so crispy clear and digital you know and all that and that's the same you know scan it research it really good um what about uh film though you know before the vhs tape which changed everything mm -hmm. before this the only way you could watch film was to be in the theater or um or if it was on uh, television so this completely changed everything when it came to home viewing we got a grateful dead here i know i'm dying with a um insert here look at that backstage pass insert oh my gosh the collector cool! people are collecting this stuff of course i might i know you love the dead i do <laughs> oh my gosh you know we listen to it a lot when we're just you know hanging out so um the vhs changed everything when it came to film and then uh, around the same time that you know CD started becoming popular, they started making um, movies onto disc as well. So here is a Ghost Hunters uh, uh, TV series. And when it comes to DVD singletons, you want to look for the TV series. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more content on there, which means you can get a lot more you know for them usually. And if you find the complete series. That's where the big bucks come in. Yeah, I learned that. Mm -hmm. You taught me that. Complete. The complete series. <laughs> complete complete series. series. Look for those. And again, we um, talked about uh, Blu-rays already. Here's Caddyshack. We all know that movie. What a great film. This one's still sealed. Um, you know, just so easy to list, store, and ship. So the other thing that I wanted to mention, and mm -hmm. now might be the good time to do it, yeah. is kids' media. Mm -hmm. sourcing you know dvds and all these like you know like old fraggle rock you know all these cool uh shows um sourcing mm -hmm. those for children so i went ahead and i looked up um to see what i could find i found a ton of lots like 15 20 25 so if you have gone crazy and bought 
tons okay. of movies or have been given given tons of media mm -hmm. to your children don't and, and they're very popular don't discard trying to sell them uh -huh. but anyways i wanted to find the singletons that were worth something one that came up which is freaking hilarious is um peewee herman <laughs> um and on broadway and it was the special hbo special and it sold actually for 120 bucks oh on my gosh. ebay that's so cool yeah. yeah yeah singleton just one okay so it seems like um even like in the kids genre mm. the the ones to look out for are the ones that we would have watched like pv herman you know fraggle rock you know like the yeah the like, yeah what was it we had one down here and you uh, oh yeah sonic the hedgehog that was another one that was going for 79 dollars. oh my gosh yeah. and then the garbage pail kids which we were laughing about because that was one that we <laughs> sold so yeah, you know a 70 dollar uh, dvd or, or blu-ray so yeah but what i found the most interesting is that if you just go into a place and you see a tons of kids tons of kids stuff just go over and check out what they have because mm -hmm. even if you picked up five for 50 cents you're you can still sell them in lots check it out it's pretty cool that is true absolutely and um even look at the ones that are blank and recorded on sometimes okay now i've done even uh, youtube videos on those just the vhs tapes um the blank vhs tapes that have recording on them they have like the people's writing on it like here's the 1987 world series that's cool along with the um the emmys and um <laughs> and channel eight um uh broadcast pbs yeah <laughs> something so sometimes you know there's uh recordings on there that people want and the commercials on these tapes are is what's most sought after people want to see those old commercials from the 80s and 90s no way oh my gosh yeah oh my gosh okay that's another um, conversation when we're not live <laughs> yeah you know, that's, that's i need to thing. go back and get some of those <laughs> Um, another thing to look out for on those uh, ones that are recorded on are Barney. Um, I've sold Barney VHS tapes um, when we're talking about kids stuff. Bubble um, Guppies. That's another one. Um, yeah, those PBS shows and especially Barney. Especially Barney. Um, just get ridiculous prices and bidding wars on those. So uh, no joke on that. Okay, look out for those as well. <laughs> Remember Barney? Oh, yes. I thought he was a weirdo. <laughs> yes, I, I love you too, and I know you love me, but we're just going to go and uh, talk about how to sell media instead. <laughs> so uh, once you found these really cool things that Luna has, uh, Luna will bring them home for us, and she will say, hey, okay, we want you, we want you to sell this CD, so all we do is we go to eBay or wherever, and we're going to take the barcode scanner, we're going to scan it, and it's going to give us most of the pre-filled information already. All we got to do is uh, maybe copy the title that it gives us to put in there and describe the condition, of course. Um, and if you need to clean it, do that. Um, make it look as nice as possible for your customer. Uh, you've done all your describing. It really takes two, three minutes. Once, once you get your uh, process down, when yeah. it comes to selling media, you can just sell it like mm -hmm. that it's listing time is like that really so that's why you know and a lot of the times the returns on this isn't a whole lot you know you might be making four dollars total right by selling this cd but in reality it's taking you five minutes total time from researching to listing to storing it to shipping it five total minutes to make four dollars that is five times 12 uh yeah. 60 that you know that's that's a lot of money per uh, hour okay <laughs> yeah it adds um, up that's it really the point and it's not back breaking work it is not at all so simple and um once you sold it now oh my gosh well what are you gonna put it in a bubble mailer that's really all you need so um if you're just starting out selling on ebay media is, is really great thing uh to start because of all of those little factors yeah, it, easy to ship good easy. size quick to take pictures of yeah quick pictures um say uh you want to give something a little extra protection oh, my favorite part <laughs> the what do you call it honey it's the cardboard sandwich <laughs> right so uh this wants a little more protection just um you can pre uh sort of cut pieces of cardboard that will fit cds or cassettes or whatever and then you just you know you bend the cardboard around it put a little piece of tape or whatever and then you throw that in your bubble mailer 
and it's going to get there Safe that much more sound. safely. Yep. It's called the reverse box or cardboard sandwich. I like cardboard sandwich. I like cardboard sandwich too. <laughs> and if you're uh, selling vinyl, uh, they make cardboard sandwiches, especially um, right there. <laughs> so that's cool. They make a box. Like yes, boxes especially for vinyl. So you're going to want to do that. Invest a little bit of money. You know, it's going to be like forty or fifty dollars for a pack of these. But you know, it, it's it's going to take you know you to sell like three records to make that back. So right, um, and this is going to keep them nice and protected. So invest in some boxes that are made just for vinyl records, and you got your shipping down. And That's the it. the coolest part about shipping media is that with USPS, you get the discounted rate. The USPS Media Mail. That's what it's called. So you get the or, or book rate. It's called. Um, you get to ship books, uh, CDs, DVDs, any sort of media, eight tracks, laser discs. Except all... <laughs> what? Isn't there an exception? There. Okay, so you you would call video games media, right? But technically, you're not supposed to ship those media mail. Why? I'm not sure. They're not necessarily considered media. Now, computer software, you might be able to argue that it is uh, media. Uh, but I've just been shipping... Uh, the video games first class huh. it's yeah. so weird because i actually looked up media and what it means and it mm -hmm. means more than one and especially with text images sound and movement that's the ac actual hmm. that's the uh definition okay but it doesn't work for video games that's weird okay yeah you're, um you're not supposed to ship video games with an email unfortunately but anything else records um you can even ship like sheet music <laughs> um, would be considered media mail. Um, so yeah, any of the any of these types of things, you get that special rate. So you could ship a hundred DVDs, you know, for you know, if it only if like twenty pounds or something. A twenty pound uh, media mail rate is only going to be like fifteen twenty dollars. So compared to you know your priority mail. 200 bucks or you know <laughs> so <laughs> look at the cat oh my, she's you, been here the whole time you are so interested in media mail I'm, I'm so thankful every time we put the camera on she comes in the room <laughs> right how about what we sold videos and everything you, she's everywhere yeah. she is a dedicated uh <laughs> watcher of our of our show and, and guest star <laughs> and she's alive she's I swear <laughs> i swear she's not stuffed right um yeah guys so i mean wow. that's that's going through you know selling um just buying selling um storing it you know you can start storing it in alphabetical order like we do mm -hmm. um abc so you can find it really easily um all these types of things it's just really easy to list store and ship so let's yeah. check out um some comps yeah I mean, let's check out some comps let's see uh, what we can get for you know some of these things um let's start out with my favorite the cassette tape what? All, right. All right. So now we have these cassette tapes. Uh, we can see that there's 280,000 results, and I filtered these. These are used. $8,000? Uh, used cassette tapes. Well, that's what somebody's asking anyway. Oh, okay. We have 280,000 results available, and we're going to check the selfie rate by seeing um, sold items now. Yeah. And there's 42,000 sold. So that is... Wow. Um, you know, not the greatest sell through rate. I mean, one in six or seven or something like that. Um, so the thing is, these will sit around for a while because you need to find the right collector for them. Okay, that's something uh, something like with hats, even with clothing, you know, are going to sit around for a while because you need to find the person with the right size and the person that wants that piece of clothing. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So um, as we look at cassette tapes, we're going to try to find some also like single teams, uh, singles that go here because we can see that a death metal cassette tape lot of 43 will go for over $600. Wow. Now, when it comes to cassette tapes, you want to look for the genres like metal. You want heavy metal. You want hip hop and rap. <laughs> you want alternative and 90s grunge. Yeah. And uh, those are like the, the three... Uh, really really good uh, genres to look out for when it comes to uh comes to cassette tapes of course your average classic rock like led zeppelin and the beatles and all that stuff those are going to sell okay too but you're not going to get any more than like ten dollars a tape um let's see so we see here also uh what's this here we got a very rare david grohl 
uh, pre-Nirvana demo tape. Now, also look out for those types of things, too. Look at that. $580 had 38 bids. So you know that like a, uh, a Nirvana collector or something. Yeah, I was, was fighting for it. was really, you know, a few of them were, it looks like. Yeah, 38 and, bids. It, it probably was a fun one at the end. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, like right at the end, what, jumped a few hundred dollars or something. <laughs> it's, it's hard to beat the excitement of an eBay uh, auction. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yep. <laughs> Especially when you got something like this Metallica Load 1996 Advanced Pre Release Cassette Tape. Uh, so it went for about the same price, 500 bucks with bids. 23 people bid on that. And, you know, that's not even a, a, a legal release. This is like a pre advance that they may have sent to like, like a, a garage band thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they d did it in their garage and like sent it to the record label, that's or record company cool. or something like that. That's really, really cool. Yeah. So again, here's another lot of tapes. Um, again, with the gangsta rap, hip hop lot, thirty six of those went for five hundred sixty dollars. Now you know that uh, a, a cassette tape dealer on eBay would probably think this is actually a really good deal because mm. they can go in there and they can spot a good one. Three of those are going to be worth at least that, mm. and all the rest are going to be profit. And then the person who's selling all of these for five hundred bucks is happy as a clam too. So everybody's happy, right? Right? right. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's another one, uh, another very rare cassette tape that was never released. Um, you know, like at uh, Sam Goody or anything like that. There might be giants, a very underground, uh, uh, alt or, um, alternative rock group. Um, They're good. I like them. Yeah, they've yeah. Um, they remind me of Ween. Um, mm -hmm. You know, sort of like fish, you know, that type of uh, that type of band. Five hundred and forty dollars uh, they got for that tape. And um, if you've been following us closely, oh, my gosh, look at this right here. My favorite band ever. Lean. Whee! The Mollusk. <laughs> Promo advanced cassette tape went for less than, you know, best offer. Four hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, at one point, I believe I had this exact same one. It was not a clear cassette tape, though. So it was a different issue. But I did sell it for a ridiculous amount of money. Um, just the list goes on and on, cassette tapes, guys. Um, and again, the genres to look for, heavy metal, heavy metal rap, rap, and... And grunge. Grunge, that's right, grunge. Yeah, for sure. All right, so um, let's go ahead and... Um, how about let's look at uh, some other types of medias. Uh, cassettes, those are my favorite. I love you, but you're hairy. <laughs> and you're sticking to my lip gloss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay. Funny, funny. $78,000, Queen of the World. Oh my gosh. Lady Gaga, a... a Star is Born. Mm, what? This is a, a mis... Oh, they're asking. Miss Pressing, um, super rare. So maybe only a few of these were made until they caught an error and um, made the ones that they were supposed to. So that's oh. maybe why that was uh, they're asking so much. Um, but now this is uh, 500, uh, excuse me, 560,000 uh, used vinyl records available on eBay right now. We're going to check the sell through rate and 100,000 have sold in the past 90 days. So that's wow. It's about, you know, a, a one in five uh, sell through rate, which is pretty good. Um, we're seeing uh, here. Here's a very rare Beatles. Um, thing that had 46 bids, you know, got those Beatles collectors out there that are just rabid, mm. um, paying four thousand dollars for one record. Wow. Um, here's another very uh rare, I've never even heard of this red dirt, mm. uh, going for a few thousand. Um, yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, guys, here, uh, let's uh skip down to some more. There's that some more Beatles some more ones Beatles, up here, the Misfits. Misfits uh, um, <clears throat> also would be a very uh, punk rock. Jimi Hendrix, yeah. Uh, white label promo vinyl. So right this on. one is a, a promo. Um, also, uh, one genre that I did forget to say to collect in um, in the cassette tapes is also punk rock. Uh, also very. Oh my goodness! Yeah, how could we forget punk rock <laughs> in the cassette tapes as well as records? Like um, this Nirvana Bleach, uh, this is definitely a different uh, purple uh, record. But I, I actually have this vinyl record. It's not this super special one, but 
but I do have Nirvana Bleach on vinyl. I listened, I, I bought it at like something and I brought it home, listened to it very loud. It was just, just an eargasm. It was <laughs> just wonderful. Isn't that the best? Oh my gosh, vinyl. Just how it sounds, you know, it's, that scratch and pop and then you just so loud. It and, sounds so beautiful in our, uh, in our dining room. Oh mm, my goodness. Oh yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it. We love. I love the. Records. I love our vinyl. Yeah, it's kind of new for us too over here. So yeah. we've been collecting them and selling them and doing all that. But yeah, now we have our little corner. Mm -hmm. With plenty of fun, uh, fun stuff to choose from. Oh my gosh! Yeah. No, a lot of the stuff here that uh, has been scrolling here are just you know some really rare stuff. Um, Metallica Master of Puppets Deluxe Box Set. Uh, if you find that one in the state sale or something, it's worth eight hundred bucks. So <laughs> Crap! <it. laughs> what about the stuff like that we might run into more frequently? Sure. Okay. So we'll look at um, a price point that is a little more um, around. So we'll say uh, maybe a little bit more common. Um, say twenty-five to thirty dollars. That's cool. That's perfect. I um, like looking at this one. Yes. Yeah. So we'll see here that. Um, Got a Blues Brothers record. A lot of Christmas um, um, ones were up at the top too. That's cute. Beach Boys. You know what? Let's filter this a little bit further. Okay. So we're looking at looking at things specifically only um, from the United States as well. Okay. Just just for right now, just to make um, make it a little more um, uniform. Uh, we're yeah, seeing, we're seeing a lot of lots here at this price. Yeah. Uh, wham. <gasps> Wham is the first singleton we can we can oh. yeah. Okay, well if that's a consistently a thirty dollar record, that's pretty awesome. It looked to be in very good shape. Um that could be a uh, part of that. Bob Dylan. Um Jackson Brown. Yeah, we're getting a lot of lots in this. Neil Diamond. Huh. We come. I love Neil Diamond. I love Neil Diamond. Wait, no, I'm I'm sorry. I was thinking Neil Young. I love Neil Diamond too. I love Neil Young. Well, I like both, <laughs> actually. Um, here's a Love and Rockets, uh, sort of like an 80s. Um, That's funky. Yeah, what I do like you call that. it? Like a sort of goth, yeah, indie rock. Mm. Um, 30 bucks. Uh, original Star Wars soundtrack for around $30. Yes. Um, Is that uh, a lot? Looks like lots. Yeah, you got a public enemy. Here's uh, another rap. <gasps> Herb Elbert. Oh, hey, look at that. 16 Herb Elbert records go for less than $29. So don't keep your eye out for Herb <laughs> Elbert records. <laughs> he has a great name, and we love to say it because we I get know, a chuckle. I know, right? Right, Herb. And we Elbert. actually, you know, uh, we actually put in one of his records, and it was freaking cool. We did. We listened to it because we, we, uh, got, we, we got it. It's like we have that. to just check it out. Didn't we? Did we, didn't most of our records come from that big pile of free stuff we found on the side of the road? There was a lot of records that we listened to and there was a lot that we added to my past personal collection. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely added to that and oh my gosh, yeah. The Beach Boys Christmas album. That might be another good one to look out for. The Beach Boys Christmas album. Huh. Okay. Yeah, Chris. I saw a bunch of Christmas um, albums up at the top in a lot when we first opened this page. So it seems like, well, that would make sense. People would like a collection of Christmas vinyl. Well, not all of them are um, created equal. So definitely. Oh, well, with anything, you always have to make sure. Yeah. And when it comes to media, guys, I mean... It's it's just like a, just about you know any other sort of genre. I mean, there's a ton of junk. Mm. I mean, you really have to sift through, you know, the a hundred to find one of them that's worth selling. A lot of times, so it's it can be time consuming to find it. I think it's more time consuming to to find the media than it is to list, store, and ship it. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, we got uh, Will, Reseller Amanda is stopping in. Hey, Will, what's up, man? How's hey, it going? What's going on? He said, I've never found crazy expensive records like that before. I found more common releases uh, that were three to five times the normal version. Oh, Mobile Fidelity. Okay, so like a, um, a different uh, st release of the record, sort of like, a, um, like on the CDs, mm -hmm. they have like a... Um, 
what do you call it like uh like gold gold standard cds that are worth much more um than their than their counterparts that are mass produced so just like a little bit better quality perhaps like a studio um studio recording that's thing. cool something it's so, so special thank you yeah definitely so guys uh we hope that gives you a little bit better of an idea of you know some of the things to look for of course you know there's so many different formats of media whether it be audio or video mm -hmm. so uh when you find something that looks good pick it up scan it they're so easy to scan yeah. and uh, check the value on it you might have something that you'd want to bring home and <laughs> you'll do a backflip over and list straight away right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. so thank you so much for spending time with us tonight you guys we really appreciate it and we really love doing this stuff for you so if you yeah. enjoy what we are creating please like and subscribe and uh, it's like giving us a big hug when you do that so thank you we uh, appreciate that <laughs> yes uh we love all the love guys thank you everybody for stopping by force finds reseller madness uh everybody else that stopped thank by. you we, we appreciate it and for saying hello so uh until next time guys yeah. uh we'll we'll see you on tuesday we got another uh retail arbitrage video oh my gosh out. so fun <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, another one of those. And of course, uh, Thursday, we're doing our what's solds. And uh, Saturday, we're doing our lives and shorts, <laughs> in, shorts in between. So it's busy. And in between that, we have what? A one year anniversary coming up too, and everything else. Oh my gosh, yeah, geez, and that is actually uh, seriously in like two weeks, I think. No, right? that's next week. Is it next week? Yeah. I don't like it. Oh that god, is... I just dug myself a grave. Nope. Next Saturday is our one year um anniversary yes so uh tune in guys it'll be a special fun time next week so um hey guys. all right bye we'll thanks talk to again you later. take care bye that's up to you that's up to you <laughs> mm.